goes. Oh, that's not going to go. This one must be one of my favourites. This is a guinea pig. The coils of the cochlear here. This is uh, the, uh, the structures in the cochlear containing endolymph. And as you know, those endolymph in the cochlea must communicate with the endolymph-filled labyrinth. And it does so by a very thin tube called ductus reuniens, which I'd never understood before until we actually stained it and I saw for myself how it is. Here is the output from the cochlea. There's ductus reuniens right there. A couple of otoconia are going to block that. Here you can see the outline of the saccular macula. Nobody ever asks, nobody ever asks what happens to saccular otoconia which are displaced. If they're going to get displaced from the utricle, you know they're going to get displaced from the saccule. Where do they go? They've got a terrific chance, I think, of blocking that ductus reuniens. And in fact, that's a theory put forward by Yamani of how some cases of Meniere's disease are caused. I had no belief in that theory until I saw my own data here and you can see how realistic that possibility is. Hypnotic. Hypnotic. <laughs>